Hop Into Frogs is a learning and teaching resource produced by Corowa District Landcare. It's for use by school children, teachers and anyone interested in frogs really. My name is Dr Alexandra Nye. I'm from Charles Sturt University and I have a passion for frogs. They're amazing creatures. They live right up in the snowy mountains. They live out in the desert. They burrow deep in the earth. They live in our wetlands. They make amazing calls and choruses. But around the world, frogs are in trouble. They're in decline. They're becoming extinct. We're losing species. These interactive resources we've developed will help you learn about the frogs that occur around Koroa. So our Australian frogs and their habitats in Koroa and the surrounding regions. They're interactive resources, so you can learn about science, but they also give suggestions for using art, craft, stories and songs to learn. I hope you enjoy using them and here's some information about how to get the most out of them. Hello, I'm Natasha Lappin from Corrin District Landcare and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to use our new teaching resource for Hop Into Frogs, which is a resource to teach uh, students about frogs and wetlands in the Corran District. To access the resource, you go to the Corran District Landcare Group's website, which can be found at www.corowadistrictlandcare.org.au. And from the home page, you go to the resources tab and you can see hop into frogs. So you click on that and it brings up this page, um, which tells you a little bit about the resource and also provides the link to the resource. Now the resource is in two parts. One is a teaching resource, which contains all of the information on frogs and wetlands that you need to be able to support your student learning. And the second tab is the interactive presentation, which students can use to learn more about frogs and their habitats. The page also features the Sloan's Froglet song, which was written by Dr. Alex Knight and was recorded by Jeff Wright and performed by the Cora South Public School. I won't play that for you now, but um, it's a wonderful little song that you can also teach your students as part of the resource. So if I click on these two, what it will bring up is these two resources. So this one is the teacher's resource, which contains all of the background learning material that teachers need to be able to deliver the, the product and also the interactive PDF document that supports that learning. So we'll first have a quick look at the teacher's resource. So this just talks about um, the copyright information and also the acknowledgements for the resource. A large number of people um, spend a lot of time and energy putting this resource together. And some of those are mentioned here on that page, but special mention to Dr. Alex Knight, who came up with the project idea, and also to the New South Wales government, who has funded this project through their environmental trust program. If you have any feedback or comments about the resource, please feel free to contact us. Uh, at admin at coralandcare.com.au. So we welcome any feedback on what you think of the resource. So this product is also available in a hard copy um, that you can request. And the front half of this document goes through all of the classroom information that you deliver to the students. It also has an interactive link which will take you straight to the interactive PDF. So this is in a couple of locations through the teacher's resource so you can access the PDF uh, in numerous locations. It describes how this product is aligned to the New South Wales syllabus. It gives links to additional information on frogs and some ideas and suggestions for activities that you can try with your students. So all of this information is uh, designed to be presented to the students and it allows them to then fill in all of the activities that are in the second half of this teacher's package and it's also assisted by the information that they find in the interactive PDF. Once you get through all of the information on the individual frogs, then the uh, resource goes in to talk about wetlands and habitats. 
And then the next section of the teacher's resource is the actual activities that you can engage uh, your students in their learning. And again, is an additional link to the interactive PDF that you can use to access it at this point. So it talks about how it aligns to the, each section aligns to the curriculum and also the pages within the teacher's resource that contains the information that you need to be able to present the activities. So it all talks to one another. So this, these bits here are really um, to help guide the teacher on how to teach the students and how it, um, the background to the activities that then the kids will be undertaking. So these activity sheets are designed to be printed so that the kids can then fill them in as they go through. So some of the activities you'll see, they start to talk about the slides in the interactive resource. So this is what it's referring to is this document. So you can just click on, it goes through one, two, three, four in the same order as the teaching resource. So section one is all about frog facts. And you can use these arrows here to click through each page and then the plus symbols when you click on them gives you extra information that the kids can use to help them fill out the activity sheets. If at any time you wanted to return to the front of the or the first page of this resource you just click down here on the home button it takes you straight back to the first page. Once you get to the end of each section it has a question or a quiz sheet that the students can work through. Um, it asks the question and then underneath is multiple choice answers that the students can select by clicking and it tells you up the top whether the answers are right or wrong. So the students can run through these as many times as they like and you can just reset the quiz each time to start again. And at any time you can click the home button and it takes you back to that first page. So to move on to the second section you just click on the number two and it takes you through to the next section of the resource. So again, this aligns to all of the information that's within the teaching resource in the first half of the teaching resource for each of these species. And these links, for example, will um, play the sound of the frogs so the students can learn what each frog species sounds like. So a great activity is then to take your students out into the environment and see if they can identify frog species based off their call. So the resource does feature the Corowa Sloan's froglet. Um, the Sloan's froglet is a threatened frog species and um, is, has a strong habitat in Corowa and surrounds and was a feature of Dr. Alex Knight's research. So this little one is a very special local species so there's lots of great information on how to learn about the Sloan's froglet and what habitat requirements it has within the resource. The Sloan's froglet is also the featured species in the frog song that we've seen on the website. And here you can play the song and also teach the students the song. So there's a large number of activities that relate to different aspects of frogs and their habitats that you can work through with your students. So that is a quick rundown of, uh, of the resource and we um, would love to hear from you once you have a go at it and have a look at it and let us know what you think. Um, that would be great at that Corrin District Landcare email. But there's a host of things to engage the students and all of the information that teachers might need to be able to deliver all of the information is contained within this resource. So thank you very much for listening and I hope you have fun with it and please let us know what you think.